This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's Corner. On December 21st from the Kingdom Arena in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, in a heavyweight championship bout that will be available worldwide on the zone, unified WBA, WBO, WBC, and lineal world heavyweight champion Alexander Usyk will have an immediate rematch against former champion Tyson Fury. Back in May, Usyk made boxing history when he beat Fury by 12-round split decision to become the first undisputed world heavyweight champion in the modern four-belt era. Usyk has since vacated the IBF belt after being pressured by the organization, but make no mistake, Alexander is the one and only true world heavyweight champion. So who will win the rematch? Ever since Usyk won his first fight against Anthony Joshua to win three out of the four unified titles, the prospect of a fight between Usyk and Fury was a hot topic of discussion. This was reaffirmed in their rematch when Usyk once again thoroughly outboxed Joshua, and my feeling at that time was that the matchup favored Fury. I believed that Fury had the combination of size and skills that he would prove too much for Usyk. When the fight became official, I was confident in picking Fury, but I was wrong. My feeling going into their first fight was that Fury would have a versatile approach where I believed he would have success boxing at distance. I thought he would be able to physically overpower Usyk in tight, and that basically, a great big man beats a great smaller man. It didn't play out that way at all, but there were points in the fight between rounds 3 and 7 where Fury appeared to be boxing very effectively and building momentum. Usyk at times looked as confused and befuddled as I ever recall seeing him. Indeed, Fury put forth what was the most effective stretch anyone has ever had against Usyk to date. But throughout the entire fight, Fury never really tried to make things especially physical, which surprised me. Fury is a physically strong guy, and since the Wilder rematch when he teamed up with trainer Sugar Hill, physicality has become a big part of his style. With his massive size, Fury can wear opponents down with his sheer weight in tight, and he is clever at creating openings with the free hand before a break. Whenever Fury did try and make things rougher and more physical, he was quickly neutralized by Usyk, who himself is quite strong and resourceful in tight. But among other things, Fury is often able to utilize the close quarter battles as a breather, something that was much needed and badly lacking against Usyk. The fact that Fury had a nice stretch of success against Usyk is reason to be optimistic, if he can adjust and be better conditioned. Fury doesn't exactly need to reinvent the wheel over here, but he certainly needs to fine-tune his approach, and he needs to be a bit more versatile with mixing things up a bit. This is a very winnable fight for Tyson Fury, and those completely writing off his chances could be surprised come fight night. Fury has shown improvement in rematches, most recently his famous trilogy against Wilder. I still believe this is a lot closer to a 50-50 fight than many believe, as I think Fury will be as determined as can be, and despite what he may otherwise claim, I believe legacy is important to him. Usyk began rallying back later in round 7, which was a very good round for Fury throughout most of the round. Toward the end of the round, Usyk started picking up the pace, however, and by round 8, Usyk had turned the fight around and was now beginning to gain momentum of his own. This all culminated with the iconic sequence from round 9. Usyk had Fury badly hurt with a beautiful left, and he started carving Fury up, landing some really great punches, and Fury started staggering all over the ring, as Usyk chased him all over the place, mixing in thudding shots that rocked Fury all around. Fury eventually crash-landed into the ropes, and it was then that Nelson officially ruled the knockdown. That knockdown officially wound up being the big difference in the fight, to his credit, Fury recovered from the vicious onslaught. From rounds 10 through 12, Usyk was still generally doing the better overall work, but Fury did recuperate to the point that he began making a fight of it again. Indeed, Fury had some very good moments during the final quarter of the fight. 
but Usyk was still exhibiting great championship heart and smarts, as he never allowed Fury to turn things in his favor. In my humble opinion, I thought they were both showing some special stuff late in the fight, stuff I don't think either man receives enough credit for. At the end of the day, according to the official scorecards, the knockdown was indeed the difference maker. Two judges had it for Usyk, one scoring it 115 to 112, and the other having it 114 to 113, and the other generously had it for Fury 114 to 113. Meaning, were it not for the extra point from the knockdown, all else being equal, the fight would have been ruled a draw. Again, Fury doesn't exactly need to reinvent the wheel over here. Add in the fact that the first fight was a very tough and taxing fight on Usyk, who will be 38 in January, and Fury has a very real chance. Indeed, not only do I believe Fury is capable of winning the rematch, but I think there is a very real chance he will win, and I am even mighty tempted to pick him, but I am not going to do that. And the reason for that is because Usyk just seems to have an extra dimension to his game, where he almost always turns it up when he needs to. When Fury was at his very best, be it against Vladimir or Wilder, or even Chisora or White, Fury was a master at controlling the tempo, rhythm, and flow of a fight. And whenever Fury is allowed to fight at his pace, where he dictates the terms, he's always been very effective. Fury has a high ring IQ and a lot of determination, but so does Usyk. And in my mind, what really enabled Usyk to win the first fight was his ability to turn it up a notch with relentless pressure that made Fury fight at a pace faster than he preferred. Usyk just knows how to make his opponents exert more energy than they normally would. And when that moment comes that his opponent needs a breather, that's when Usyk instinctually turns up the heat and really begins breaking them down, making them work even harder. Fury's best hope to prevent that, I think, is to try and make things more taxing and physical against Usyk early and often. But even if Fury has more success with that type of stuff this time around, it's difficult to imagine a scenario where Fury has a greater reserve tank than Usyk, and I think that means sooner or later, Usyk will be able to push the pace consistently enough that Fury can't keep up for three full minutes, round after round, especially in the later parts of the fight. While I do believe one way or another, there is a greater chance of someone being stopped this time around, and I certainly wouldn't be shocked if one or both got dropped, but I think this will go the full 12. So for my official prediction, I am taking Alexander Usyk by a 12 round decision, where it will be close but clear. At the end of the day, I no longer see it as a great big man against a great smaller man. Now I see it as more of a great big man against an extremely great smaller man. So I am taking Usyk for the win, but as always, what the hell do I know? I ain't exactly Quasimodo over here, but I am extremely fired up for the rematch, and I cannot wait to see it go down. Best of luck to both Usyk and Fury. I have a feeling this early Christmas treat will produce something very special, and I expect both guys to be highly motivated and determined. December 21st, the long-awaited rematch between the two best heavyweights in the world, Usyk and Fury, revenge or repeat. Find out live worldwide on DAZN. For those of you not subscribed to DAZN, take advantage of their Black Friday deal from now until November 29th. Subscribe in the link below. Who do you think will win the Usyk Fury rematch? Please let me know in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching everyone and have a wonderful night. This is Rummy's Corner. You know, Quasimodo predicted all this.